I live in a world where people pledge allegiance every morning. The words roll off their tongues, but do they resonate? Sometimes I wonder why. Their eyes roll, their hands go limp. Why standing up no longer becomes a symbol of respect, but a symbol of burden. Oh, say, do you see the growing apathy? Old flag, you have grown old and weathered. You have overcome the rest. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we seem to not remember that you are more, more than patterns and thread. Your stripes of red and white, your patch of blue with scattered stars. Since 1776, you have gone through 26 wardrobe changes. Physically, you have changed, but symbolically, you have not. There is a reason that you, you have been to the moon and back. That you, you have climbed the tallest mountain tops. That you. You have come in different shapes and sizes. Oh, flag! We have made you seven microns tall, three thousand pounds of weight, weight that we feel lifted because you help us believe that we can. You are not just made of cloth. You are more than fiber. You are woven of the fabric of the American people. You are the whisper of Betsy Ross's fingers. You are woven out of the multicolored hair follicles of Irish, Indian, Hispanic settlers. You are not made of fabric. You are made of the memories of pain, of heartbreak, of the sweat falling from my father, my grandfather's pores, who are descendants of foreign lands but believers of the words entwined under your tapestry pattern, nonetheless, that those dead shall not die in vain, that all deserve the right to fulfill life, liberty, and their pursuit of happiness. Oh, you are not just a flag. You are the blanket that keeps shivering shoulders of the American people warm. You are the symbol of everything we wake up for in the morning. You give us a reason to go to work, to arrive at school, to sit in a classroom daily, to reach our goals, to strive harder, to not let the memories of freedom fighters die in vain. You know that that is a true burden. To give up everything you once had and what you might have for a nation full of rooms of people. Who you may never know. So we pledge allegiance not just to you, but to our ideals, our past, our present, and our future. God bless you.